I don't think there's a better feeling than walking outside your house and seeing your truck immaculate. Just, I'm talking glossing, flossing, big wheeling, big dealing. Like, there ain't no better feeling. I haven't drove the truck since I washed her yesterday. Just because I'm cherishing her being clean, because I'm pretty sure the minute I drive her, she's going to get dirty. But let's just take a moment and just soak it in right now. My God, yes. What's up with it, everybody? I hope y'all are having another good day. Welcome back to the channel. So we're bringing you guys some more content. I, I had to do it. I had to do it today. Um, today is Monday, Memorial Day. So before I even push this video off any further, I always, anytime these type of holidays, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, stuff like that comes up, I always, and begin my video, I do some sort of, some sort of message. And this message this year is going to be a happy Memorial Day to everybody, okay? Um, you guys know, if you didn't, but most of y'all do, you know, I am active duty currently, uh, United States Marine Corps. I know I got a little face scrub, it's just because I've been off on the weekend, so it is what it is. But uh, I'm active duty right now. I've been getting messages from family, friends, Instagram, you guys saying happy Memorial Day, thank you for your service and stuff. I always say thank you and reply back, but, but, in all reality, Memorial Day today is not about people like myself that are still serving, that are currently active in the field. Today is a day of remembrance and honoring those who have given, our, given their lives for us to be able to enjoy the amenities that we have today, okay? Um, you don't hear it a lot today in this society and, and just the way everything is, but there are, are still a bunch of proud Americans out there. There are a lot of people out there in this country right now that are proud to be in this country and grateful to be in this country. There are people that have lost family members and died to come to this country just to get the amenities that we all have and take for granted on a daily basis, okay? Um, one of the reasons why I am in the military is because I love this country. I love this country and I want it to serve my country. Um, you know, I don't talk about it a whole lot because it doesn't warrant it, but this is an amazing country. We have a lot of people out there in today's society where you would think that people don't like this country that much or they don't want to be here. But the truth comes down to, at the end of the day, this is one of the countries in the world where you don't have to wake up worrying about somebody kicking your door down, stealing your kids. You don't have to worry about, now granted, I understand things like the ghettos and stuff like that, but still, for the overall, overall pick, you know, people come to this country because they want to emulate what we have here, okay? They want that good life. Uh, I don't care if you're the poorest person on the planet or if you're the richest person on the planet. There ain't many countries like this country here in America, okay? Now, I know I got some Canadian followers and I got Mexican followers in Mexico and all over the world. Uh, if you guys have a holiday that is similar to Memorial Day, honoring those who have fallen in combat or while serving their country, I commend you today just because this is the day in America that we celebrate this this one day to honor our fallen heroes, okay? Uh, it's not something I don't take lightly. I take it dear to heart and I'm grateful for it. Uh, but yeah, so happy Memorial Day to everybody. If you served in the military, Vietnam, Korea, World War II, Desert Storm, Gulf War, it don't matter. If you serve, I commend you. I tip my hat off to you and I thank you for your service. And if you're serving actively right now, keep on chugging, baby, because eventually it's going to end, all right? So we're going to go ahead and get this video started because I think you guys are really going to like this video today. All right, you guys, so today, first things first, before I start this video, please, please, I'm taking my shades off, please, go like the video, okay, and at the end of the video, comment and tell me what you think about this video, okay? I don't talk about it a lot, but you guys, when you like these videos, it, I, one, I love it and I truly appreciate it because it helps the channel out so much, you guys don't understand, so I get messages all the time, people saying, bro, you should have a way bigger channel. You should be up there with the rest of them and stuff, which I'm I'm humbled and honored that you would think of me like that because I, I, I like that you like my content. But in order to get to that goal, we have to crack the YouTube al algorithm, okay? And one of those things is video likes, content engagement, meaning comments from you guys, comments from me, things like that. Um, we, have to, we have to break that threshold so that way YouTube can recognize this channel as a serious channel and as a growing channel where people want to see the content. The more likes the videos get, the higher it gets pushed up in a YouTube totem pole in terms of video recommendations, more people can see it and stuff like that, okay? I get tons of messages, people telling me, bro, and recently too, saying, bro, I just came across your channel. I don't know where you've been for the last two years, three years, but I love your content, man. Keep doing it, I love the videos, and I appreciate the messages all the time. I'm right here, and I've been doing this for so long, okay? So I just wanted to mention that real quick about the likes, okay? So now, for, for real though, for real, we're gonna actually talk about what today's video is. About. 
Okay, so what are we doing today? So today we are going to be unboxing the compound turbos, okay? Uh, I've actually had these turbos in for a little bit. I just haven't opened them up yet because uh, I feel like my, my glasses are crooked. Okay, all right. Uh, I just, I haven't unboxed them for a while because I've been busy with the, with the truck, you know, getting the suspension tuned in. I've had these for probably about two weeks now, maybe even three. The piping kit came in first. Um, but yeah, I, I just been busy and, and you know, I needed a little break from the lift kit because the lift kit job was about a month, about five weeks of work on and off. Um, that lift kit, it took some juice out of me. I'm just, I'm gonna be real. It was done. It's done. It rides amazing. I love it, but it, it, it came at a cost of work. Uh, and that includes my buddies helping me out too when they came over to help. So we're going to be unboxing. I'm going to be revealing to you guys the S366 S480 com compound turbo setup from yours truly, MDC Diesel, Smedin Diesel Turbos. Yes, this is it, baby. So, you guys, this is well, this is not even all of it. I have the rest of the hardware and stuff. The little tiny stuff is all in here. So we got clamps, gaskets, all sorts of stuff, pipes, elbows. We got more clamps in there. We got more hardware in there. So that's all the stuff in there. The small stuff I didn't feel like taking out, but we got drain hoses, oil feed lines, uh, more drain hoses. <laughs> but you guys. Were y'all ready for this? Like, I legitimately said we were doing this, but were y'all seriously ready for this? Because I know I am. Um, so what we're looking at here, you guys, is a Smedin compound turbo setup. This is going to be an S366 and the S480. Um, I don't remember the 100% specs on them right now. As soon as I pause the video, I'm going to look at my phone and then I'll be able to tell you guys. But those are the two compound setups we're going with. Capable of a thousand horsepower any day, all day, ready to go. Okay. Uh, we got the piping kit over here, five inch down pipe, uh, boost or a, I guess, yeah, boost tube, boost tube, intake tube, actual air filter, some drain hoses, okay? This stuff is A1 uh, amazing, okay? Now you guys, you guys know for all my turbo needs, I go through MDC Diesel based out of Texas, okay? I've been working with Mac and MDC Diesel for about two years now, and I have gotten nothing but success and good things to talk about them. Uh, Mac is a very, very knowledgeable dude. Uh, I pick his brain all the time. Anytime I have turbo questions, I, I pick his brain. Never, ever didn't have an answer for me. Um, my current setup, the S470 or S467 second gen swap is currently on the truck. That is from MDC Diesel. Uh, a lot of you guys know, but my new subscribers, you probably don't know. I'm one of the only YouTubers that has a promo code for MDC Diesel that is going to save you a hundred bucks on a turbo kit, okay? You can't get that from Rolly Custom, you can't get that from Industrial Fleece, you can't get that from nobody, okay? Uh, I legitimately have a code that is going to save you a hundred bucks cash with free shipping if you get a turbo kit from MDC Diesel uh, using promo code Everything Diesel, uh, check my description box in all my videos. I have all my promo codes listed down below. Uh, please check it out because I get tons of messages, people asking about if I have a promo code for this company. I have a promo code for MDC Diesel, Beans Diesel, save you 15%, Brandon Ironworks, uh, Full Send Diesel, Kevin Kubinak over there. I have tons of promo codes, you guys. So always check the description down below if you're trying to save you some money, okay? All right, so back to the turbo. This is it, and this, this one is massive. This is an S480 turbo, you guys. This thing is ginormous. Give you a little size comparison. That is a S366 on top, so a 300 frame turbo, and that bottom one is an S480, obviously a 400 frame turbo. Massive. I can tell you right now, this one does have a 1.32 AR. I don't remember the turbine housing side or exhaust side uh, wheel size. And I don't remember that one. I'm pretty sure that one has a 90 AR. Um, but these things are massive. My goodness, man. You guys, we about to, we about to get into something nasty with this truck. Um, I'm glad I re-geared it. Transmission is definitely 
in the near future. Uh, I don't know when, but when, <laughs> whenever I get enough money or whenever a company decides to want to sponsor me. But um, <laughs> this is crazy, you guys. So this is the setup we have here. Um, when is it going in? So before we get this turbo installed, I have something I'm gonna talk to you guys about. But first things first, before we install these turbos, I'm gonna be taking off those compressor covers. So those guys, I'm gonna take those covers off and we're going to be powder coating them with some prismatic powder coating. Now, I'm not going to do the powder coating myself, but my buddy Kevin over at Full Sun Diesel, who's like 15, 20 minutes away from me, he just set up a powder coat shop at his shop. So I'm going to be taking those covers over to him, and we're going to be powder coating those uh, compressor covers Spanish Illusion Fly, or Illusion Spanish Fly, however you say it, okay? It's pretty similar to the gold co color on my truck, except it has a little more brass copper look to it it looks really good um i think it's going to complement the truck well being because i could have gone with the gold that looks just like my shocks or my coils but i didn't want to i wanted to switch it up so you know you see this type of gold here when you are looking at the truck from the outside and then when i pop the hood you see a little slightly different color i think it contrasts well i like being a little weird like that i don't know that's just me how i've always been um but it's gonna look sick we will be leaving the uh boost pipes all the hot pipes and intake elbow we're gonna leave that uh stainless because it's just gonna look so good you guys uh, along with the billet we still have over here we still have the billet aluminum cover valve cover that i have not installed yet i, I still gotta get that installed you guys i'm backed up and i'm backed up um i'm trying as best as i can to balance life family videos youtube i'm trying to balance it all but we are backed up right now um it's gonna look really good it's gonna look real good. We do have a five inch, I believe, yeah, five inch down pipe, uh, stainless steel. Man, this is going to look so good in the engine bay, you guys. And I will have a full tutorial video showing, I'm gonna try my best because no one has a video or instructions how to install this, but I'm gonna be trying to make a video, uh, instructional video talking about how to install Smet and Diesel compound turbos. I know Pusher has one on online. It's kind of vague, but I'm gonna try my best, you guys. Okay, so you guys, um, if that news right there wasn't exciting for you, I don't know what can get you excited because don't nothing excite me more than changing my turbo, but to put two turbos on, you can't beat that. You really cannot. Um, the timing is perfect. The truck's re-geared to 430s. We got the 40 nitto tires on it. We're gonna be getting the track bars reinstalled back on the backside again here soon. I mean, when better, man, when better? It's it's a great time to be a member of this channel and i appreciate all you guys and i'm thankful for all of you guys so thank you for watching these videos if you do watch them uh i would love to hear your comments down below now if you think that was the only news that we had on the channel today i'm sorry but you are mistaken okay we got some more news news number two or technically three because of memorial day message number two or number three we got injectors on the way that's right so we're going to be putting on some 120 horsepower injectors, also known as 50% over injectors from yours truly Flux Diesel. Now, if you guys aren't following my Instagram channel, I highly encourage you to follow my Instagram page. I understand a lot of you, some of you don't want an Instagram and stuff like that. But if you have one, please go follow the Instagram. It's everything underscore diesel. I have a link down below to the, in the description box to my Instagram channel. Follow the Instagram because a lot, a lot of sneak peeks come from the Instagram channel. That will be changing soon here because I'm gonna be creating something new solely for YouTube and for fan engagement. But as of right now, follow the Instagram because that is the easiest way, one, to get in touch with me, and two, to see what's happening with the truck and the channel as of current. If you guys, so I know I already know it, y'all are gonna be asking, what am I doing with the 467? So for the 467, I'm, I'm gonna sell it. But if, some, if one of y'all out there has a 10 mil CP3 pump that is willing to trade, or a second gen swap for 67 uh let me know the only thing you will not get from the second gen swap is the manifold which you can get from mdc diesel and you can also get a discount if you can reach out to mac and tell them i sent you um but yeah so if somebody has a 10 mil cp3 reputable brand uh i don't want no janky nothing i, I actually need facts like legitimate um you know bd sns uh exergy whoever if you guys have a kid out there uh, let me know if you're willing to trade for an S4C7 uh, turbo setup. Include downpipe, drain drain lines, intake, everything except the manifold because I need the manifold for the compound setup, okay? So, I appreciate it. Awesome.
one more thing I forgot to mention about the turbos. Uh, so they are billet wheels. I opted for the billet wheels. I told Mac, because at first I was going back and forth between billet wheel, uh, 360 degree thrust bearing. So currently I have the standard 270 degree thrust bearing. But after talking with Mac and all that stuff, kind of figured and realized that you don't really need it unless you're pushing that turbo setup to its max potential. So being that this setup is a thousand horsepower rated, we're not gonna be nowhere near near that, you guys. So I'm not I'm not worried about overspending those turbos. Um, but yes, definitely uh, wanted, wanted to get the billet wheels, that little quicker light up, lighter wheels, spools up a little faster. So it's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be good, you guys. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Thank you for checking out the video. If you stuck it out to the end, I would love to hear your opinion, comments about this channel or about the videos. Do you like the compound setup? Um, I know it's a little 460 or 366, 480 is a little, a little overkill for what I'm trying to do. But with good tuning, which I have, we will be able to get that uh, dialed in and right where I want it to be at. I'm not gonna talk about numbers and horsepower goals as of right now, but when we get closer to that that point, that's when I'll start talking about that type of stuff. But um, I'm excited, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped right now, you guys. I'm extremely excited. So thank you guys for checking out the channel. Until next time, take it easy, be safe, peace out. Have a happy Memorial Day, a happy work week. Be safe, stay clean, and I'll see you guys next time.